I've mentioned before that leading the chart for successive top-level outings is Takara Fuji. 840 of them since 2013. With no absences throughout his career to date, he is surely good for 855 in July. But can he go far beyond that? Until now, we've seen this one-time Kindai Uni star broadly succeed in two ways. With an inside left via pronounced shoulder barge, or defensive thrust over when failing to land it. In May, though, he increasingly struggled to pull off either. This first meeting went sadly wrong. A ravenous inside left and fine right hip placement, giving Wakamoto Haru the tools required to evade the feared grip and drive. Then Uda practically ran round his left before setting himself to push from down low. Tobizaru, to whom he'd never lost, went in right shoulder first, darted back in a flash, then bored through from underneath, while Tochinoshin, in their 25th bout, scooped up from the middle to wedge right inside, then hauled up on the bounce till his left connected. Bad starts have hindered Takara's entire career, though. This one was nothing new. Of more concern was the hangover lasting deep into the middle third, thus even longer than March. Koto Eko's attempt to retreat and reset gained traction once head met chiseled chest, His right side muscles heroically clinching, then parrying the final advance. While Kindai teammate Shimanomi, with head low and spearing right, made the inroads required for oblique attack. Okinomi relished the chance to tussle. Then skirted the rope with skill after sensing his foe lean too wide. Before another chess match with Chiyoshoma, not only kept average bout time high, but showed that even with grip secured, Takara's forward drives were ripe for tipping.
the ill-judged thrust-down attempt causing brows to furrow. But however bleak things look, we must recall this. Six student titles. Three gold stars. Two wins over Haku Hall. In fact, bookending the Yokozuna's 33 win streak. Ex Sekiwake. Touted as a future Ozeki. And in 2015, as his reinforced shoulders suggest, out bench pressing even Terunofuji. And when slotting in well to weigh down with bulk, as Nishikigi found, he's still a threat. A first bout with Oho might not have brought much. The youngster simply pounding that left hand side. But Kagayaki was elbow pinned well, then locked on the turn. Another defensive weapon. His legs held their own against Nemesis Takayasu. Till that whirling thrust while he tried to adjust. And astute retreat nearly paid off here. His body deemed just gone before Hokuto crashed. Takara's neck strength remains, we found, when he cushioned this man's every blow. <laughs> and absorptive traits were on show again as he cornered Kotokuzan to finish. We should though note that those last two foes were in poor form too. No more is Takara the man who looks older than his years. He now really is a veteran of 35 and a half. And the key May stat is this. For the first time in a decade has he lost 10 or more bouts outside the top ranks. His fourth such losing score from 12. So keep an eye on him in July, for you'd expect him to breeze through those lower level fixtures. If he doesn't, then all is not well. <laughs>